Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Trill Ass Trailers. My name is Kenny Kynes, and I only review movie trailers because let's be honest, home movies will not bring your wife and kids back. This week, we take a look at X-Men Apocalypse, the eighth movie in the X-Men franchise. And this time, surprise, surprise, they fight Apocalypse, the world's first and oldest mutant. But he's also the world's most boring mutant as most of his story arcs only deal with Medicaid and his grandson explaining how to send a text message. Some call him Apocalypse. He was some kind of god. Now, if you're not familiar with Apocalypse, he's uh, of Egyptian origin, but he's also colored blue, which I guess is lucky for Fox, because it'll give him an opportunity to avoid any issues of whitewashing, but let's just hope that Hollywood does not take that as a cue. Now, Apocalypse, who is a genocidal maniac, always has four followers that ride with him. That's not that scary if you think about it, because the Hamburger Helper Glove has like two million followers, right? But then again, the Hamburger Helper Glove has actually killed more people. And I'm not gonna lie, this movie does look pretty cool. I mean, even Oscar Isaac's makeup looked like it pays homage to back when superhero movies didn't have budgets. Fun fact, the only difference between the X-Men franchise and Jesus is that Jesus was only resurrected once. This episode introduces Psylocke, a mutant assassin, who in the comic was a British woman who was turned into an Asian woman by ninjas because social media didn't exist. The marketing for this film is really pushing the fact that this is the movie where Professor X finally loses his hair, making it the first superhero film to court the ever-elusive alopecia market. And there certainly seems to be a lot of wind in this movie. I mean, I guess the big bad guy is moving air. I mean, I can't wait for the future sequels when the X-Men have to fight water, earth, fire, and heart. Now listen, uh, I know that was a pretty half-assed reference, uh, of course, to the 90s cartoon, uh, Law & Order Kids, so. You'll also notice that Patrick Stewart is missing from these trailers. That's because he just recently inked a six gift deal with knowyourmeme.com. Hey, and Storm is back. And uh, if you don't remember Storm, her powers included manipulating weather, uh, summoning lightning, and making white people unsure of exactly how old she is. And there's also a new actress playing Storm. And let's just hope that she's able to not say anything for four films as well as Holly Berry. Get everything you think you know. Got it, J-Law. The police treat every citizen fairly. Every woman is left me because I'm too deep in Oxycontin, but only on the weekends. And speaking of Jennifer Lawrence, she looks really good in this movie. I don't know if it's the glow of the fact that she's now the leader of the X-Men or the fact that she only has two more movies left in the franchise before she's finally released by Jafar. And there you have it. Make sure you check out X-Men Apocalypse this summer. Maybe. Someday, I'll show you my mutation. Third testicle. My power, making you look past it. Hey, if you enjoyed wasting your time in this video, why don't you check out the rest of these trail ass trailers. And to keep up what we're doing, make sure you like and subscribe below. I guarantee you, I'm actually pointing at buttons and not asking to look at my dick. So I'm not stopping you.